Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, my name is Neha Narula and uh, I'm the director of the Digital Currency Initiative, which is uh, based out of here, the Media Lab. I'm Andrew Miller, I'm from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and a co-director of the Initiative for Cryptocurrencies and Contracts. So, uh, fun fact, uh, the first PhD in computer science was awarded in around 1965. Um, and we're seeing that 55 years later, uh, computer science is the most popular undergraduate major at many major universities. Um, it's recognized as an important discipline whose techniques and approaches are being applied to many, many different fields. In fact, we're starting a whole new college of computing here at MIT uh, this year, uh, and the dean is from Cornell Tech. So looking at it through that lens, it seems clear to me that it's possible that cryptocurrency and blockchain technology also has the potential to become its own discipline. This is a rapidly developing area, and it's grabbed the interest of practitioners and academics alike. But it's also one that requires a cross-disciplinary approach. And it requires new ideas and synthesis across these different disciplines. Importantly, uh, much needed new voices are entering in the space. It's not just computer scientists, it's economists, lawyers, um, and there are new roles, practitioners, uh, developers, including academics. And as this has happened, the number of cryptocurrency papers has continued to grow and the methods have become much more diverse. And this has made it really difficult for newcomers to identify the most impactful cryptocurrency research. In addition to that, ideas are discussed in non-traditional venues. We have IRC channels, uh, forum posts, mailing lists. We want to bring ethics into the conversation as well. How as a community do we want to handle conflicts of interest as we're explaining and talking about our work? How do we want to talk about funding? This is a more important question now than ever. There are lots of great new ideas that are being developed and worked on, but I think there's a lost opportunity because we're missing a quality distribution channel for explanation and analysis. Okay, so, um, so this Crypto Economic Systems Summit is uh, the kickoff meeting for our new journal effort, the Crypto Economic Systems Journal. So the goal of this journal is to provide uh, this new interdisciplinary venue um, that is well suited to take on this goal of uh, having a forum for inter interdisciplinary research on this emerging new field of uh, cryptocurrency and crypto economics. Um, so many of you are here because you've already agreed to serve on our program committee, so we're all going to be working together over the next several months reviewing a bunch of papers. So if you've done that, then thank you very much for uh, you know, agreeing to participate with us and make this successful. Um, so my background is really limited to the field of computer science, but peer review is really the lifeblood of all fields uh, across academia uh, and in research. Right? It's a bunch of shared values and processes around providing constructive feedback to people who are doing research, to provide some incentives to do your best work and provide competitive high quality work, and to maintain a high standard for rigorousness and uh, quality in the work that we put out. So it makes sense to focus on peer review process as one of the things that can bring together uh, so many different disciplines to build together this new field. Peer review is also important in different forms to cryptocurrency, to the open source developer ecosystem through code review, mailing list discussions. So I think this is an important area to bridge between the cultures of academics as well as the practitioners in the industry. So uh, my goal for this summit includes getting feedback from you all on um, what we're doing in terms of our goals for the journal and the processes that we're going to try to put forward in our first uh, effort. So all of the reviewing that we're going to be doing in the coming months. So I think this is a really important opportunity to experiment with using peer review processes to help the cryptocurrency ecosystem, also using blockchain technology to help peer review itself. So um, that's some of what I'm hoping to learn from you all, also to get feedback on, for example, the different kinds of standards for validation uh, across different academic fields um, that would be applied to cryptocurrency and crypto economics in this new field. Great, so um, we're gonna wrap up, but just a few logistics before we get started. Uh, first of all, please submit to our new journal, uh, Crypto Economic Systems. Uh, the deadline is in late October, so please consider submitting. Again, it's open to many different disciplines. Um, we have a pretty uh, unique submission policy, so pretty much anything's um, on board, and we're gonna have an open review process as well. Um, we're gonna send out a Google form um, for ideas right after the event. We want you to think about your discussions and uh, what you want to get out of this field. 
Talks are going to go from 9 to 5.30 today and tomorrow. And uh, there is a reception tonight um, starting at 5.30. And also we have talks going on on two stages. So in this room and also in the room right over there. Um, and the talks are going to split right now. So right when I'm done speaking, I'm gonna give you two minutes to head over to the next room. Um, here we're gonna be talking about distributed systems applied to blockchains. And over there, we're gonna be talking about crypto economics in practice. And then uh, finally, uh, we're gonna have lightning talks tomorrow over lunch. If you're interested in submitting a lightning talk, it's still the website is still open. You can visit our website for this event, and there should be a link there. If you can get to it by lunch today, that would be great. Please submit a talk. And if you have any questions at all, uh, come talk to us or head to the registration desk, which is right outside. Um, and with that, we're going to get to the rest of the conference. So two minutes for everyone to figure out which room they're going to want to be in, and then we're going to get started. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you all.